Welcome to Reader's Retreat. I'm Paul, and I'm going to be talking about the first day of Mark's Mystery Madness. This is the first day. So what am I going to be doing? Well, for one, I'm going to, as I started this at, after midnight this morning, and uh, it's a friend, a friend of the devil, Stephen Lloyd. Um, six chapters into it, 29 pages into it, I would say, because, I mean, ain't much. The chapters are nice and short. Two or three pages, it might be a little bit too short. But I'm enjoying it after reading those two books that had a lot of, you know, long chapters. And, uh, but this is surprising me. It really is. This book right here is surprising me already. Uh, like I said, I'm on chapter 6, page 29. And in those short pages of 28 pages, I got intrigued. I'm enjoying it. I'm wondering how everything's going to unfold. I wonder if Stephen Lloyd going to... Uh, mess it up because it has potential and the potential is it has the potential to become five stars and nothing gets messed up in it and uh, that's just a prediction it ain't where I am yet but Stephen Lloyd is a TV producer and writer best known as the executive producer of award winning shows such as Modern Family and How I Met Your Mother I didn't care for Modern Family, but I did uh, watch a little bit of uh, How I Met Your Mother, found it hilarious, and now I am uh, reading one of the man's books that uh, helped produce it. So, I love the feel of this book. So anyway, this is about a... Uh, I want to say a PI because most uh, insurance agencies they usually hire PPIs to do you know go in and try to find a missing item and the missing item is a very rare and expensive book and uh, he is up to him to find it. Can he find it? To save the insurance company some some money. Well, yeah, we'll find out. And the only else thing I, else I know about this book is later on there's going to be some of uh, these kids dying. Uh, I call them kids. They are kids. This is about a private school on a private island, and uh, so. But it's more than just a, uh, a rich man's private school. It also runs a orphanage. So, uh, so they pay for the orphans for you know to be there, give them an education, and everything else. So, I think that's funny. Uh, because I never heard of the uh, rich place that did that. Uh, usually when they do something like that, there's something definitely wrong with the place. And uh, so this is the book I've been reading. I read I read uh, the, the five chapters that I did read. I read that, uh, started that about 12.30 this morning. Then I went to bed. And then I got up a little bit ago, and then I went back to bed because I was already getting a headache. And uh, I figured I'd lay down, let my pills kick in, and see what it does. It didn't help a bit. Anyway, this is one of the books I'll be reading. Another book I'll be reading is The Sighted Patient by Alex McAleese. I enjoyed the book I read of his. 
uh, I don't know if it was last month or January, uh, but uh, I did enjoy the, that one. Hoping to enjoy this one. This is the side of the patient. I heard a lot of people say they liked it or they didn't like it and DNF'd it or didn't DNF it and all that stuff. But I don't pay attention to those. Uh, usually when I run across someone that is giving their opinion or a review, I usually don't watch the the, vid, the video for that back stuff because I don't like it. I don't like the reviews that spoil, spoil the book for me. So, and the people that spoil the books don't see them spoiling the book. They say, but you don't know how it happened. I don't care. I want to know everything firsthand. So that's me. But uh, anyway, I am looking forward to this. This came out in January 2019. Yes, it's the Book of the Month Club edition. And uh, I I really can't wait. I might uh, I might do Friend of the Devil during the daytime, pick this up during the evening, and when I have to pick up something else to get because this is the first time I've read, read uh, all these mysteries and stuff all together at one time so it, so when I need to I'm going to take a break and finish up Nathaniel I am enjoying Nathaniel It is a Horror by John Soul this is a book of uh, three complete novels and while I'm doing this I might as well show you something right now I flunked and read your own. Uh, I wasn't really paying that much attention this morning when I bought a few books. Uh, I only bought two, really, because the other three can comes in one of my uh, book uh, clubs. Uh, I'm in Book of the Month Club. I'm in the Sci-Fi Club. But I did get down to 77. So I only had 76 left to go. So I'll, I did good. I did good. This is the only thing I'm going to say. Uh, I did, I, so uh, I did flunk out on that. And one thing I can actually, honestly say, if I wasn't doing it, I probably would never find books I want. But because I was doing the Read Your Own uh, Challenge, almost every time I turn around, there was another book I need to buy, another book I need to buy, another book I need to buy. And uh, so I didn't make it far into it. So you guys have a good one, and I'll talk to everybody later.